Hi everyone, this is a video on a 2019 Jeep Wrangler with a 2.0 turbo and we're looking at a misfire code P0302. That code is basically you know, a situation where we need to kind of go further than the normal trouble chart because it's going to get quite involved usually. Um, you know, this isn't your do-it-yourself job typically diagnosing a misfire on this new vehicle, especially with this much stuff on it. So I am going to start by plugging into it, seeing if there's any other codes. And in this case, all that we had was a cylinder two misfire. So no injector code, nothing to point me in the direction of maybe a bad injector or something. Uh, also, I noticed that there was no symptoms. You know, I didn't feel any shaking, customer didn't feel any shaking. And this is where it's really important for a service rider to ask good questions because if you don't get, you know, a good investigation before you even get the car, you're not going to, you know, be saving yourself any time. So, you know, it's very important to have a good service rider to ask the right questions, which these days can be difficult to find that type of person. So we'll continue on here. We have a list, list of the codes that you might see with the situation going on that I had. And we'll get into that situation in a minute. But next, after that, we typically are gonna wanna definitely review freeze frame information, especially when there's no symptoms felt. Misfire code, if you don't feel any shaking, you have to review the freeze frame information if your scan tool allows it, which carb, you know, it's basically required with a misfire code. Most any scan tool is gonna, you know, show you generic scan tool data and a little bit of information to help you, you know, figure out why you're basically misfiring. Um, in our case, we have a dealer scan tool. It's going to be a lot, a lot more information. So I start by looking at the freeze frame data's engine coolant temperature. It's a cold start. And the reason I know that is it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit coolant temp and the ambient air temp that day was like 90, 95. So, um, I go to the next page of the freeze frame information and I'm looking for engine runtime. So if the engine runtime is zero seconds, I know that it just started. And looking at other temperature sensors, I know that, you know, it's basically a cold start. So just take my word for it. So next we pull basically the spark plug out because we know it was a cold start misfire. So Something's most likely getting in that cylinder. Usually it's coolant getting in that cylinder, especially if your coolant bottle smells like exhaust or you're low on coolant when it comes in. Uh, they're complaining the heater not working sometimes, maybe noise in the heater core gurgling or something. So again, that's why a service rider needs to ask, ask the right questions or the technician. Um, in this case, I look in the cylinder and this is what I had found. So. It's basically a pressurized cooling system. I've got 15 PSI on it with a cold. Got my camera in there, and that's the head gasket you see leaking right now on this 2.0 turbo Jeep Wrangler. This is the first time I've seen this engine with a leaky head gasket. We don't see a lot of issues with them. I can't speak for other shops, but this is our shop talking here. And after the technician removed the cylinder head, we actually had a crack in the cylinder liner and that crack um, is going to be a real issue and if we reuse a head gasket or I mean put a new head gasket on replace or reuse the head uh, it's probably going to have you know a head gasket failure in the near future or at some point prematurely because of that crack now what caused that crack I couldn't tell you but typically you know cast iron cylinder liner like this one uh, coolant it was obviously making its way in that area. And when you have coolant, you know, that it cools that cylinder liner kind of where the rest of it isn't being cooled because where that crack is, it's exposed to hot gases, a couple thousand degrees or higher when combustion occurs. And now that coolant might hit it. And now you have, it's like pouring water on a, you know, hot Pyrex measuring cup glass. It's going to crack. So I've Probably what caused it is a difference in temperature, but it could also be a casting flaw issue. So, um, I mean, that being said, 
that's you know what I found on this one. Just wanted to share it with everybody. Thank you.